Trinidad and Tobago, good morning. This is a quick video in response to all the talking heads lighting up social media this morning and talking about disrespect to a member of parliament. I'll tell you all something, and I have a friend who is a French man. He's here from France on assignment. And he tells me, Philip, in France, that's how everybody works. If the government, if the members of parliament, if the ministers don't do their job, everybody in for that. And they know that. And that is French people, the pinnacle of society in the world. He said to me, what is keeping Trinidad and Tobago back? Is Trinidad and Tobago have false pride and shame for the wrong things. That if this was France, this morning, after what taken place in this country, they would have shut that country down already. And that's a fact because I have seen that. I have seen the people of France just in just to, to protest the prices of food that farmers were getting. I saw farmers shut that country down. People don't take their democracy lightly in, in the civilized world. Here, we elect royalty and bullshit artists to government and think that once somebody have a public office, is Mr. This and Honorable that. Hear me, eh? we don't want anarchy. What we want is public involvement in government and government to represent and serve the people. That is our right and that is what should be the case everywhere. Don't be giving beaten people no slack this morning and stressing them. Beaten people frustrated like everybody else. Like everybody else. On top of everything that you're dealing with today, imagine if your children woke up on wet meds this morning and had to step off into three feet of murky water. Imagine that is your condition this morning and tell me you wouldn't be stressed. Imagine if that's your condition for the past 56 years and instead of the rest of the country seeing your condition and your situation, instead of people working together to help you get a hand up, not a hand out, people castigating you and talking about if you get a flat tire by the beat and drive 200 miles per hour and all kind of bullshit. The people of Morva beat them, Lamington and see lots have been treated like second class citizens of this country for far too long. And one of the reasons is that blasted PNM. But you can't say that they had a choice because the UNC wasn't going to do any better. We need real change in this country. And that change comes with real representation in people and public involvement in their democracy. I think we are at a good place this morning. Yes, Fitzgerald Hines had to get wet for it. But if it's one person in this country overdue for a wetting, it was Fitzgerald Hines. I hope call him, but don't go in the beat him. They might have drunk him. And that is a joke, but that is also a truth. These people have taken advantage of people's trust for too long. Too many votes have been wasted while too many finances, friends and family members of government ministers have made themselves fat off the public purse. It is time the people of Trinidad and Tobago understood the rights, roles and responsibilities of a citizen in a democracy and started to act on it. No Fitzgerald Hines, you don't get to go into beat them after you castigated those people and tell them what is government's job and government's role. The people understand they may be poor but they're not stupid and it is time to wake up Trinidad and Tobago.